Hi guys, my name is Banches, and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. So sit back and relax and enjoy this episode. If you guys enjoy this episode, smash that like button and subscribe down below. For all you guys who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Banches, and I play a bunch of uh, different type of games. Currently we are playing uh, City Skylines, and we have been playing this for now 17 episodes. So we have definitely built out a pretty massive uh, scaled city. If you are um, coming back and returning, welcome back. I appreciate you guys coming back and checking out the next episode in the series. In our previous episode, we built this nature reserve over here. Um, it was definitely a very detailing project and took a long time to make. But I like the way this turned out. I think it was a very, um, I don't know, let's say beautiful looking city um, scape. And I definitely like that the, you know, residents of our, you know, area can use this if they need to get out of our city. So yeah, in today's episode, we are going to be going over to here now. So there's a little peninsula that little sticks out. We are going to be building a university. So I got the DLC for um, City Skylines Campus. And we have a bunch of new options if you guys haven't checked out the DLC yet. So we have tech schools, um, we have liberal arts colleges, we have universities, we have actual varsity sports now, um, there's also museums, and then lastly, there's just some other small parts that come into here, um, such as I think this is a library, or oh, this is a facility. But, whatever. Continuing on. Um, there's also um, another downloaded pack uh, that you could get for, I think it was like an extra four bucks that just basically allowed you to have more um, options with the uh, growable um, objects. So we're going to also dig into those and see how this kind of all plays out in this episode. But yeah, we're building a university here. It's going to be adjacent from our old university, which is over here. Um, but yeah, this university is definitely too small right now for our city. When our city's at our max uh, capacity for population, this can only hold about 20,000 students. Um, or no, I think it was 10,000 students. And currently the demand right before we had this death wave was around 40,000 students. So we definitely need to grow and make a big university. And what other better place to do it than right over here? This is a kind of central location in the map. If you scroll all the way out, you can see this right here is going to be close enough to our suburban area here, our metropolitan city, and we're also expanding over this way. I've just done it a little bit off camera to um, just get the population a little bit more stabilized. But yeah, this is definitely a good location for this university, and we are going to go ahead and start building this new area. Okay, guys, so I am back, and I have set up the university uh, kind of layout right here we're going to be going for. Um, like I said before, we're on this peninsula here, and we just put a, a roundabout here off this highway, which then is going to come over into our university area. And we're basically going to just grow this out. Um, what we've decided to go with is, like I said, the university campus. So there's a bunch of things we can add into here. Um, obviously, we're going to have to put some dorms in here, uh, some university study halls. We got a bunch of these other options that we're going to put in here right now, get this kind of all situated a little bit, and... Um, see how this comes out and this includes also putting paths in this area so let's go ahead and do this and once we get this kind of a little bit more situated we'll come back and show you guys exactly what we ended up going with here okay guys so here we are we have kind of this little layout here with some paths we have two dormitories and then over here we've added two more uh one's like a maintenance facility and the other one's a club and we want to try to get to the next level as fast as we can. So if we go into here and go to information, we can see, all right, so we have plenty of students in here. Our campus attractiveness needs to go up a little bit more, but then we need these academic works. So let's go into here. Let's see what we can do. All right, so we have to obviously fund some stuff. Let's fund, how much can we fund, 20K? Screw it, we'll do 20k. Let's see how this works. And we're going to do... Let's do Discovery. So we did that, and then we also have other stuff going on. Okay, 
So hopefully we'll start getting some academic works going here. We got to get our campus attractiveness up. So let's see here. How can we do that? We could add these. What are these here? Okay, these are like larger facilities. For museums. What are these here? We have... Okay. What are some things that we can get our cities at, or our attractiveness up? Okay, we could do this university study. So let's see here. Where do we want this now to go? Let's see here. How's that look? Okay. I will right, we'll put an academic study hall right here. Okay, and it's filling up pretty quickly, it looks like, with uh, some students. So that's good. We're going to just put it right next to the main administration building here. And then we might flank one right on the other side of it here. So let's just get one more. We are going to stick this right there. All right, so now we have two study hall buildings, um, two dormitories, and we also have our main center here for campus let's get to this and see how we are looking on our campus all right so our attractiveness is good now we just have to wait to get some academic work so while we're waiting for these academic works let's um i'll go do some other stuff and i'll be back with you guys okay guys so our academic year is complete it looks like so it, this is kind of the stats of what you get at the end of your um i guess when you rank up your report or your college so here you can see how much uh, academic works we got. We did four last year. Um, we had 1,500 students come in. Our camp of uh, attractiveness is up pretty damn high. Our reputation, um, you know, we're recognized. So, and our previous year was unrecognized, so that's good. <clears throat> we have our tuition, which we're getting paid actually. And then we have, I guess, some exchange student bonus also. So it looks like we've unlocked a few different options now we've got in um a university cafeteria we have university fountain we also have a gymnasium we have an outdoor study and then it looks like we also unlocked some more research abilities so that will definitely be really good um do we want to do this i was thinking of making like a little pond in the middle here, but um, I don't know if I want to do this now. I might not want to actually have a pond in the middle of our university. Yeah, I'm taking this out. All right. We have filled back up where all this uh, pond was going to be built. Obviously, we're going to have some issues here with flooding for a couple minutes. That's why we're waiting for all that to dissipate. But let's go into here and now actually see what we've unlocked. We have these fountains. Or is it a study area? Right, this is a study area. Where's the fountain? I want to see how big this is. Kind of want to put a fountain right here. Let's see here. How would this look? Okay. I can definitely mess with that. I like that. Um, let's see how the paths are going to work with this then. They have things all the way here. Somehow we've already unlocked a school of fall. Don't know how we did that, but I will take. Um, all right, so we have to get this fountain hooked up. Let's see if we do this. Okay, that worked. But now I want to get some of these pavers. All right, let's see if we can find where these pavers are, and we can then make a design throughout this a little bit different. Okay, guys, just a quick little update here. We are adding more dorms into our university we've also added a little study area here for students to come out and uh, study if they need to for uh, exams and stuff like that but we're currently again at another waiting point um, as you can tell here we have everything maxed out we're just waiting for the academic year to finish up so then we can rank up the university to unlock more um, you know abilities and more um, features that we can put into the university so the only thing I think I can put in here is a law school at this point, if I really want to. Um, 
And I'm gonna see maybe where this should go. Um, and we'll see. I'm not, I'm not, I might not put it anywhere in the middle here. So I'm kind of feeling this would be maybe more dorm related. But it might work in this area. So I gotta see. Actually, yeah, I'll see where this is gonna go. Okay, guys, we have finished another academic year. And we had a, a pretty good year. We uh, got, I guess, nine more academic works completed. We had a total of 5,600 students, so we increased the student population by 4,000. Um, our campus attractiveness went up by 350. Um, our reputation now went up to being renowned instead of just recognized. Um, our student tuition has gone up. And also our exchange uh, bonus has gone up too. So we've gotten a university academic uh, area. We've also gotten the library, a math club, and also the school of medicine. So, we, oh, and we got another one down here. We got a community, what is this? Oh, okay, like a graduation basically um, office. And then we got a few other things down here. Okay, nice. Yeah, all right, so we got <clears throat> definitely some good upgrades to continue with our uh, campus here. So while we were waiting here, I placed the School of Law. This is where um, our law school is going to be located. And then we have over here kind of like a nice little quad area um, with all the dormitories. <clears throat> so yeah, definitely coming along well. We're going to now get ahead into this next part of adding in these new structures that we just got. So what do we have? We just unlocked. So the library, like I said, math club, okay, the graduation area, and also the statue. We also have this medicine. So how big is this, the school of medicine? This is fairly large too. So what I gotta decide is how am I gonna place some of these? I don't want them to be crowded. I think what I'm going to do is place the School of Medicine also like on a corner like this. Yeah. I'm going to set this back a little bit. School of Medicine is going right there. That will be a good little location for it. Now let's get to the next few parts. So the library. We need the library to be in a central location too. kind of want to put it right next to the cafeteria. Let's see. It can go right here. You know what I'm going to do? Actually, I'm going to switch these two buildings. Let's put the cafeteria right there. Kind of more of a closer location to the, all this area. We'll probably put another cafeteria up in this area. You know, few. Um, yeah, definitely going pretty well. That's good. Okay. I like where that library is located now. And the one thing we could definitely do to make this look, I think, a little neater. Let's take this and we're going to surround the outside of the library now. These paths. Alright, that's going to be as good as we can make it. We're going to keep it like that. I think that looks good how it's all connected up. Yeah. I like this. Definitely coming along <clears throat> pretty damn well. Okay, so let's get a varsity sport in here. So if we go into here, I think we're going to go with, there's a couple options. We can either go with, I want to put it right in here. So we can either do an aquatic center, a basketball stadium. I think the track and field's too big. Baseball is just too big, big, and football is definitely way too big. Let's put basketball in. We're going to do that. All right, so we got a basketball stadium in here now. Um, definitely, I think, an interesting location. I want it to be, I want to have one stadium close to the center of the main part of campus. And then what I want to be able to do is I'll probably put in here some parking lots and stuff. So, let's see what we get here. Okay. So, our basketball arena, we have no one. What do we have here? Okay. Yeah, we want security. 
What is this? Okay, that's fine. Fine. Can I change anything else on here? Okay. What can we do here? Well, let's get some cheerleaders funded. And what is this here? Coach staffing. Alright, we want to have a good team, so let's definitely do a lot there. We change anything else in here. Varsity sports. So yeah, we're going definitely all out here with the varsity basketball sports. Alright, so team colors. Alright, so what do we want to be? We be the alligators. We have the Broncos. Okay. Buccaneers. Chirpers. The Eagles, Lions, and the Spartans. Um, let's go with the Spartans. And let's do... Ah, okay, that's going to be interesting. Um, so if we do red, will this change red? Wonder. I don't really like the uh, red, though. Hang on. Is there anything else I can do? Okay, let's see how a blue. How about a white? White could be nice. Let's do white. Let's do that. I kind of like that idea. All right, we're going to do white for the team. And then let's hope that we get some events coming on pretty soon here. Okay guys, so we have another academic year completed, and you can see how we've done over this last year. We didn't really add any um, dorms, so we actually kind of lost a few students um, over this year, but we had a lot of academic works completed. We have obviously have moved up our ranking in the campus. Um, our tuition's gone up, and same thing with the bonuses. And then we've got a few new um, stuff that we can add building-wise to our campus. So we're going to go ahead and just continue to add more features to our campus. Um, so what do we got here? We got an auditorium. We have... Yeah. Okay. So we can add these in here. See exactly how they all turn out. I kind of want to put a bookstore. Put a bookstore right here. What's this again? This is... Okay, so laboratories. We're going to probably put a laboratory over in this area. Because, let's see if I unlock this yet. I have not. What do I need here? Okay. So, I need to get this unlocked, the School of Science. It's definitely where I want to be. So then we can actually get a few of these, um, I don't know, all the stuff stuck into the university. <clears throat> um, let's get this laboratory placed. And what we're going to do with the lab is we're actually going to place it on this side of the road. Let's place it here, right across from here. And then what do we got here? We already got the bookstore placed. All right, auditorium. Where can we place an auditorium? We're going to place actually the auditorium right down here. Perfect. Okay, so that's placed. We're going to go and start, I think, seeing about adding another varsity sport. This is doing pretty well. We lost our first game, but we're definitely going to hopefully bring up our notoriety. Um, about a 700 people. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're going to get some more uh, stadiums uh, and stuff fit into this, uh, this area, and I will be back with you guys in a few minutes. Okay, so let's get a football stadium in here. So where we need to go is let's go here. Uh, we're going to go to the university and varsity sports. And here is the stadium that we want. So this is going to be um, definitely one of the bigger, I feel like, attractions. Definitely what I was hoping for. Um, when I know when I heard about this DLC coming out, I was hoping that they would have varsity sports in it. And of course I was hoping they'd have American football. And this is definitely a nice looking feature. We have 
definitely a good view looking out from the stadium as well. So I think this will be a very suitable location for our football stadium um, going forward. And what we really need to concentrate on once we get this situated um, varsity sports wise is really just there's a couple more. Um, we have the baseball stadium, the track and field, which track is definitely a very big sport. <clears throat> So I'm thinking about putting this over in this area. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to put track, I think, over here. And then baseball. I don't know where I'm going to put baseball. It's going to be interesting. Okay, guys. So while we're waiting for this death wave to be over with. Um, see, so currently we do not have enough students. It looks like mm, it's not going to be good for our reputation level. So... We have to see exactly what that means, but hopefully we don't go down uh, a level. But while we're waiting, we're going to connect both of these universities together. So we're going to go here to the transport. And the one thing I want to do is I want to get cable cars and connect them that way. So we can do... There's two different types. We're going to do end of a cable car. We're going to put one right here next to the baseball stadium. Um... Actually, no. We're going to put it right here. And then we're going to put the second one over here. Over by where this town is. And we're going to place it... I really wanted to place it right here. That's not going to happen either. Alright, let's see. Where can we place this, guys? We could literally place it right here on the corner. How does this look here? Or does that really destroy what this... Nope. We're not going to place that there. Alright, delete that. Not happening. We're going to place it here, though. Let's put the cable car right there. We're going to have this come straight across. To here. Turn. And then we're going to have it go straight into here. Okay, so there we go. Now we have cable cars connecting across our river here. Um, yeah, basically connecting our two colleges up. We could also do boats if we wanted to. I just feel like for how short the distance is and how little people will be traveling back and forth, I think cable cars might be the better uh, and cheaper option for us to do. A lot cheaper to upkeep, basically, than having a ferry going back and forth between here. But... If you guys want to see a ferry, we can always put a ferry in here instead. You guys will have to let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you guys want to see uh, some ferries going back and forth, we can definitely throw something like that in here. Also, you guys got to let me know what you think of the current layout here of our campus. Um, I think currently it is going pretty well. Um, hopefully we can get to the next and final level, finish up the university um, for this episode. And then the next episode is going to be us building out our college town. So... Let's uh let's fast forward until we get to the to the next and final level. Okay, guys, and I am back. We have made it now to the final level of the university. We are at a tier five, and we are a quote unquote prestigious university. So we've made it. We finally got there. You can see, look at how much we're making in tuition. We're we're killing it right now with these university. So. Um, we're definitely doing a, a good job. We have a good amount of research that's being done. Our sports teams um, last year did they did well. So overall, that is good too. Um, if we go into now the university here, are the last couple pieces that we've gotten. So we got now the school of science. We have uh, another like academic statue. We have the chess club, and we also have a media lab. So those are the, the new things that we basically received um, to finish up the university. 
And we're going to go ahead now and kind of just go and place these last couple pieces. This is definitely the largest structure um, we have remaining to place. And I'm thinking we're probably going to place it over here. Well, it's either there or it's going to be over here. Uh, we might do it over here, actually, to be honest. Yeah. Um, just to try to break up some of the larger features. We have two large features here. We'll put the other one right over here. Okay. So now we have all these large, um, you know, schools in for our university. Um, now we just got to basically go ahead and, like I said, finish up this last couple stuff. And I will be back with you guys kind of showing you how the end layout of the whole university is. Okay, guys. So I am back. And this is the uh, final rendition of basically the university. All the assets have been placed in the university. I went through, added a bunch of details um, in, kind of just made it as realistic as I could with what I had. Um, this part of the university here in the back, we basically have now a nice little beach with a bunch of bars set up along here and some hotels, just allowing like students, they want to blow off some steam, they can come out here and kind of relax more or less. <clears throat> We also have the stadium, which we sh I showed you guys earlier. I've added an additional parking lot and then just a little bit of features in the front of it just to make it a little bit more uh, lively looking. We have this cable car that goes over to our old college. And then we have over here just a few more dorms, cafeterias, and other buildings. Uh, we have the baseball stadium here in the back. And as you walk or go make your way around the outside here, we kind of have more dorms. Um, and then the science building, the track facilities. You come over in here now. <clears throat> I kind of went ahead and started decorating a little bit more in here. So this is the law building. Um, we also have, as you go inwards more, we have the basketball courts. And then we have a lot more of the traditional setup of the college, how we had it earlier. I also have here in the middle, kind of like our center quad area where uh, right behind would be, right behind us in the camera is the academic building. And then as you come forward, you have this little fountain area, that little gardens, then you have the library. And yeah, I think it's pretty nice. I really like how this center quad area came out. But um, yeah, overall it's pretty awesome how it came out. Uh, if you go and look quickly at the stats for our college, you can see here, uh, we are a prestigious university. It's the highest amount. We're at about 5,000 students. We have a bunch of works going on. <clears throat> we also have um, the attractiveness of our college is very high. And we're also making money. So with our actual college, uh, our tuition is high enough that we're able to actually subsidize the whole expense of the university. So that's, a, that's an awesome uh, thing. Our sports overall... They're okay. We have three wins, two losses for basketball uh, or baseball. Basketball, same thing. Football, we have one more win. So we have three wins, one loss for football. And then track, we also have three wins and one loss. So overall, we are doing pretty decent, it looks like, um, as a university. And yeah, this will be the main hub for our college going forward for our uh, city. The one thing we will eventually do is make like a trade college and uh, the liberal arts college. But for now, we want to start with the university, get this up and running. Our next episode, I think, is going to be making a college town over here. And I think that's going to be a, a pretty fun little project to do. So you guys should definitely come back and uh, check out that next project. But um, yeah, we're going to end it here today, guys. So if you guys really did enjoy this uh, video, please smash that like button. and Please subscribe down below. I would really appreciate it. Um, yeah. And if you guys really like City Skylines and you like um, how the whole entire uh, campus DLC came out, you know, let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about it. Is it worth the money? Um, I think it is. I really enjoyed building this university and I think it has a lot of assets um, and features added into it that is worth definitely looking to buy. So until next time, guys, my name is Banches. And I will see you guys in the next video.